So it's July 8th, and given the weather conditions today, I'm going to go up and do some training. I'm just going to do some stalls and see what this thing actually stalls at when it's empty. I have a pretty good idea how it works when it's loaded, because that's how I usually fly it. But today it's just me, half tanks, and we'll see what the stall speed is on this thing on a day like this. Tag along. Okay, we're taking off with low fuel and just me on board, uh, see what we can do in terms of stall speed in this thing. And my guess is it'll be about uh, a little over 40 knots is my guess. So click uh, like and subscribe and we'll see you at the end of the video. Okay, here we go. Let's get that other headset unplugged. There we go. Way better. All right, we're just gonna climb a little bit here to get to a safe altitude. Climbs pretty well when it's empty. And that's also our clearing turn. No other traffic in the area. We'll get back onto the frequency of the closest airport. Turn down the fuel burn. Having to use a lot of right rudder and that's going into the shop to be repaired this week. There's a rudder trim. I've got first flaps, so that's 50 knots. 45. Stall horn. Oh, and there it goes. Oh, and a nice, clean stall, too. Got down to uh, lower edge of the white arc on that one. Which is uh, 50 miles an hour, 43 knots. Five miles an hour. I think that's about as far as I want to go with it. it felt like it was going to uh, break to the left there. I lost a little bit of lift on the left wing. And um, then I recovered it. So there's our answer. Our answer is about 40 knots, 42 knots maybe on that last one. And 42 knots, 42 knots is about 45 miles an hour, it looks like. So that's our stall speed. Lightly loaded with a lot more work than I like keeping the ball centered due to the trim issue. It was interesting because with the ball centered, it felt like the plane was turning to the right. And I had to, to correct to the left a little bit. So I'll talk with Ryan about that when I take the plane in to have that rudder trim. Um, when I take that in to have the rudder trim adjusted. But yeah, I could just barely feel that left wing start to dip a little bit. And even with the dip, it was still really easy to recover. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I like to fly my approaches in a stall setting at about 40, 55 miles an hour, so about 48 knots, something like that. So if the bottom of the range is another five knots below that, that's 10%, and that's a, a decent enough margin for error. So empty, that's how it performs. 
And I can tell you, full, it's not much different. It's only a couple knots uh, faster in order to avoid a stall when it's fully loaded. Overflying the farm now. Just lollygagging a little bit, coming back. Got some altitude to bleed off. Kind of dragging it in this time. But that's alright, lots of good options if the motor were to quit here. Okay, so came in at 42 knots, which was just about what I expected to be. Thanks for riding along again, and click like and subscribe to see more in this series, and I will see you tomorrow.